What's up everybody? I stumbled upon a pretty cool thread on the PTCGL subreddit that I thought I would share. So it's basically a meta insight for PTCGL in specific. Uh, on the left side we have a pie chart depicting all the different maps, or maps, excuse me, all the different decks that uh, this person, Tis My Pueblo, so credit to them, has seen over about a sample size of 100 matches. So uh, just keep in mind the sample size. It's, it's pretty big, but you know, it's not perfect. But this is the percentage of uh, the decks that they saw. You see RCS V-Star, Chien Pao, Gardevoir EX, Lost Box, so on and so forth. This part in the middle with the arrows pointing up and down, that is sort of a, a, the trend of how popular a deck is. So if it's a down red arrow, it means it's going downward in trend. As you can see to the key on the right side, it's green arrow going up, it's going up, similar, or a new deck. So the sparkles are a new deck, as you can see with Chien Pao and Ting Lu. Um, for other below that list, you got uh, other decks such as Darkrai V-Star, Coridon EX, Magnazone EX, so on and so forth. And then on the right um, is just some more key insights that they wanted to share. So this person actually seems to make these posts every two months on the PTCGL subreddit. So um, I'm thinking I'll probably make this video uh, every two months. Um, they're cool with it as long as I give them credit. I will link to the thread in um, the description of this video. But this can kind of help you plan out like if you want to climb the ladder, you know, what kind of stuff should you use, what what uh, what's the metal looking like, so on and so forth. So um, I'm going to go ahead and they, they actually wrote down um, some of their insights. So I'm just going to go ahead and read exactly what they said. And again, all credit to uh, user TizMyPueblo on Reddit. Uh, I would go ahead and go on their posting, you know, give them up votes and follow them if you want to see this post. Uh, every two months or so when they post it, but I'm gonna go ahead and read some insights. Let's see if I can find where they wrote this. One moment. Okay. So, this is me reading their insights. A few key things have happened since the last insight two months ago. One, Paldea Evolved was evolved, or excuse me, Paldea Evolved was released, bringing in new meta decks such as Qian Pao and Ting Lu. The new Battle Pass was released, giving people access to these new cards, in particular Chan Pao, so that explains why you're seeing a lot of Chan Pao on the ladder. NAIC occurred with popular decks from that tournament, seeing an increased play online, such as Lost Zone Tina. Um, I personally, going back to Pat, have seen a little bit more of the, uh, what was that deck that just won NAIC, the uh, Inteleon and Urshifu VMAX deck. And PTCGO closed, bringing a large player base to live. So just more people are playing the game. Uh, we would assume we don't actually know that, but we have to assume more people are playing the game because PTCGO is officially closed. Uh, continuing their analysis, the data does have limits due to its sample size, but I'll record my main insights below. All matches were completed post NAIC and Paldea Evolve being released, primarily in the Great League. So that's um, in that middle hundreds area, I think like 600 to 800 or something like that. So pretty, you know, competitive. Um, overall, the meta seems to be in a healthier place since the last analysis. 18 unique archetypes were faced in my match, the most since February 2023. So I agree with that. Uh, the, the meta is pretty diverse and it's super exciting. A lot of Chien Pao decks on the ladder, but again, that's just because all that stuff's free. Continuing, it is also the first time no one de no one deck had 20% plus of the meta, as previous insights were always dominated by at least one of Lugia V-Star, Mew VMAX, Lost Box, or Gardevoir EX. This is reflected in NAIC results, that's the North American International Championships for those who don't follow competitive, five different deck types in top eight, and limitless online tournaments, which has seven decks with a five to 15% share of the tournament meta. So if you don't know, Limitless Online Tournaments, it's a website you can go to to sign up for tournaments to play online, um, people online, and you can win like PTCGL codes. Um, I'll link to that as well. The more open meta means some decks have dropped significantly in usage, including Gardevoir EX down 56% and Lost Box down 33%. Lost Box has, a reduced, uh, has reduced due to a meta that counters it harder than previously, while Gardevoir was inflated last time due to the recent battle pass giving the deck away. So that's another thing to keep in mind, is what you're going to see on the ladder is a lot of what's easy for people to get, and you can plan accordingly. So I actually never really thought of that. Continuing. Uh, the usage of both these decks is now mirrors the Limitless meta. So the Limitless meta is more like what 
the real world is like. Um, not perfect because it's still online, but you know. Continuing, this time the overinflated deck appears to be Qian Pao, which only has 11% in usage uh, in limitless tournaments and two top 32 finishes at NAIC, but has 17% usage in these mass in these matches. I personally think Qian this is my analysis. I personally think Qian Pao is a little overrated, but um, still a ton of usage, so it's good to play against it. Continuing. As with Gardevoir last time, this is likely due to the Battle Pass giving away Qian Pao and the Backscalibur engine. Uh, so we've hit that point already. The other deck that is out of sync with IRL events is Lost Zone Giratina, which was popular as Gardevoir EX despite the lack of tournament success out of, outside of Japan. This deck may suit the best of one style seen in Japan and ranked matches, which may explain the popularity. So just to clarify, in tournaments in America, they do best of three. In Japan, they do best of one. And that can kind of affect what decks people use. I'm not going to get super into it, but um, that's just what uh, this person means when they mention that. Um, so that is all I've got for this. Um, maybe in the future, I'll write up my own analysis, but I do kind of like reading what they have and just kind of sharing what they have. Again, I will link everything I've mentioned below. And... Um, I would also pay attention to these stats on the right, such as the Ar Arceus decks with Reggie Drago, the Lost Box variants with Turbo Force Sealstone. So that'll kind of get you a better idea of what is specifically being used by people in these deck archetypes. Um, let me know if you like this style of video. I don't usually hit like more competitive stuff, but I this is more about PTCGL and my channel is more about playing on PTCGL, so I thought I would share. So again, credit to Tis My Pueblo. Let me know what you think of the video and I'll see you guys later.